Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to be a part of the Sustainable Fashion Summit of Seoul and I thank uh, for the invitation the City of Seoul and the Seoul Design Foundation. I am Carlo Capasa, the Chairman of Italian Fashion Council and I'm here to explain you more about who we are and what we do on sustainability, emerging designers, how we face the Corona virus in Italy and so on. Uh, let's start saying who we are. Uh, we are a non-profit association and our mission is to coordinate and promote Italian luxury fashion. In particular, we are the organizer of Milan Fashion Week. Uh, our members uh, are the most uh, famous brand in the world, Armani, Versace, Valentino, Prada, Gucci, uh, Missoni, Ferragamo, Fendi, everyone, I would say, and uh, uh, they represent uh, uh, more than 70% of the total turnover of our industry altogether. Uh, um, I want to show you also this page, this data, so uh, you can have an, an idea of the importance of Italian fashion, because we represent 40% of the uh, value of the fashion industry in Europe, and the second country after us is Germany. This meaning that most of the luxury brands that produce fashion in Italy, uh, like France, like uh, all the other country. Uh, this means that, uh, okay, uh, next page. Uh, here you can see the four main pillars of our association. Uh, when I arrived in the association in 2015, uh, I decided to focus uh, my strategy on promoting our fashion weeks, supporting the new generation of designers, of course, uh, but uh, very important uh, to help the, all the brands to be and the companies to be more sustainable and uh, to empower our digital communication. Uh, now you know, we have uh, uh, three main projects uh, uh, involving emerging designers. I start with this uh, emerging designers uh, issue. Uh, Milano Moda Graduate, uh, the fashion uh, hub market and the pop-up stores. Uh, Milano Moda Graduate uh, is uh, a fashion show with the students from the best Italian fashion schools. Uh, we are now at the sixth edition uh, and this conference uh, is the best place where students have the opportunity of presenting their creation and uh, of winning uh, our uh, awards and prizes. 
uh, before the show we offer the students uh, uh, education session for a few months and I think that this is what make our contest different from others and uh, uh, f makes our competition uh, very very uh, good for all students. We organize for them a meeting with the journalists, like for example Anna Delo Russo. We bring them to visit factory, tanneries. Uh, we, make, we make them part of our fashion industry and community. Uh, fashion Hour uh, Hub Market uh, instead is an opportunity for emerging designers to present their collection during Milan Fashion Week. Uh, we offer them the chance uh, f to be inside the Fashion Week, uh, even uh, in, if sometimes they could not uh, afford the proper presentation. And we help them very much uh, doing this uh, all, on our expenses, of course. Uh, we also do pop-up stores uh, with the emerging designers because it's important to make those designers face in the real world of retail. We did it in Korea at Hyundai and in Milan at La Rinascente, the most important luxury mall uh, in uh, Italy. Uh, with Hyundai uh, in Korea we presented 10 Italian emerging designers to Korean market. Uh, the project lasted 70 days. Uh, um, in the beginning, the Popa store uh, was at Hyundai Main in Seoul, and then uh, uh, at Hyundai in Coex, uh, at last uh, at Hyundai, Hyundai Pangyo and uh, Gyeonggi. Uh, with this project, uh, we wanted to share a message of hope. Uh, I would say in Italian. Andrà tutto bene. <laughs> and then this means uh, everything is going to be okay. Um, now, uh, the second pillar uh, is it is very important because it's uh, sustainability. There is no future fashion without sustainability. Uh, we started the work on sustainability in 2011 uh, and when I became chairman uh, I, uh, of the association I strongly wanted this to be our main uh, pillar in our strategy. Uh, we operate in uh, two ways, uh, through working groups and uh, organizing events. You can see here the main groups and events uh, we organize. Um, the Green Carpet Fashion Awards in Italia is uh, one uh, award ceremony uh, where we shed, shed light on sustainable designers, factories uh, or projects. Uh, we organize it with Olivia Firth, Sustainability Ambassador and Expert. We are now at the fourth edition. Um, the event always takes place in September at uh, La Scala of Milan during the Milan Fashion Week. However, this year, uh, due to the coronavirus uh, emergency, we had to postpone the event uh, uh, to October 10th and to study a digital format. Um, so, uh, it will be, look completely different. Uh, the International ra uh, Roundtable is another uh, important uh, meeting that we do uh, every year. Uh, and is a conference about uh, sustainability. In the morning, uh, we have uh, uh, the top uh, level speakers uh, uh, from all around the world, and then uh, in the afternoon, uh, uh, there are um, breakout sessions uh, where all the top managers can exchange uh, about different topics. Um, we've been organizing this event for four years, uh, and I see that the participation grows more and more every year. It's a very good sign. <laughs> uh, the last chapter um, on our uh, sustainability activities uh, is the topic of inclusion and diversity. Uh, a couple of years ago we created a working group with the H&R managers of all the most important fashion brands and we realized our first manifesto last year at our um, event uh, and I think that more than ever we have to foster fashion brand to adopt inclusivity uh, principles in the company process. Today is uh, very important, we know what's happened uh, in America with the Black Lives Matter uh, and this is why 
we decide to uh, uh, found the presentation of a, an Italian collective about Black Lives Matter, uh, and we give a chance uh, to be to those designers, five designers of color uh, born in Italy, to present to be present during the Milan's Fashion uh, Week. Um, I also now would like to uh, focus on the coronavirus emergency and now we uh, are facing it. Uh, as you know, the pandemic firstly uh, broke out in China and uh, was the month of uh, February, during, uh, just before our Fashion Week. And we knew our Chinese audience uh, uh, is important for us and we knew that they could not attend to our February Fashion uh, shows. So we imagine uh, an idea to bring Fashion Week to them with uh, uh, a, an initiative called China We Are With You. And so uh, all was uh, uh, um, showing in China to show our support uh, to this country that was facing this uh, huge challenge. Um, it has been a very big success. More than 27 million people worldwide watched the show in a digital format. That was the first time a Fashion Week adopted a digital format for his, uh, his uh, show, different shows. Uh, later, uh, in Italy, the pandemic broke uh, uh, strongly to, in the late, uh, after late February, and uh, we had uh, two months lo lockdown. Uh, after China, mm, we are with you, we created uh, Italia, we are with you. And this uh, was a fundraising collective, uh, uh, fundraising campaign that collected uh, uh, 3 million euros from all the fashion brands, uh, the most important fashion brands, decided to give a contribution to the, this health emergency in uh, Italy uh, in order to buy medical uh, equipment. Uh, I would never thank enough for all the brands uh, for their participation to this project. It was a, a very strong proof of fashion uh, business. Uh, this is the end of my presentation, so I want to thank all of you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, and that you had the chance to know more about Italian fashion. And uh, thank you very much for listening. Uh, have a nice day. 지속 가능성에 지금 우리가 당면하고 있는 코로나19 위기에 대한 중요한 해결 책임을 다시금 느끼게 되는데요. 자, 카를로 카파사 회장님, 마지막으로 세 가지 질문을 좀 드려보고자 합니다. 자, 팬데믹 상황에서 이탈리아 패션 중 어떤 사회적 부분이 더욱더 강조가 되었는지 궁금합니다. Social responsibility is always a crucial aspect of our brand's roadmap. Uh, many initiatives that have been put in place during the health emergency. Uh, everybody is strongly contributing uh, uh, to the territory, you know. Moncler uh, uh, with the hospital, uh, towards the same, uh, but uh, many of the brands, uh, uh, all the textile manufacturing firms uh, producing uh, face masks, uh, sanitizer gels, medical clothing, uh, um, they switch all the production uh, to make uh, disposable smokes uh, for health workers. Uh, Armani, Prada was a strong example, but also Gucci, Max Mara, Cuccinelli, everyone, really everyone was contributing to the, this uh, uh, crisis, uh, terrible crisis we had. 네, 요즘 명품 브랜드에서도 지속 가능성을 위한 업사이클 제품들이 속속 등장을 하고 있는데요. 실제로 밀라노 패션 위크에서도 이런 업사이클 제품이 등장한 바 있는지도 궁금합니다. Fashion brands are working in implementing sustainability strategies and of course many of them upcycled products and you can see many collection the Milan Fashion Weeks including those products. For example, Pour Armani created an upcycled, uh, an upcycled uh, capsule collection. Armani G. Dozeni in summer 2020 fashion show uh, uh, used the 16 was the title and they displayed the um, uh, range of menswear all around the idea of uh, reusing materials, uh, fabrics and other pieces of clothing. Max Mara 
uh, created also the Camelux project where from uh, recovered materials uh, they create a high performance uh, uh, insulating material. Uh, so everybody is really working on that. Even the fashion uh, week, we, we try to organize the fashion week using a lot, a lot of recycled uh, material. 네, 회장님께서 바라본 한국 패션에 대한 이미지는 어떤지 얘기해 주실 수 있을까요? 혹시 개인적으로 좋아하는 브랜드가 있는지도 궁금합니다. I think Korean fashion is having a very interesting trend. Modern, technological, uh, really strong. Uh, it's unique style that uh, represent Korea with the, the geometrical and elegant shapes, uh, genderless outfit, uh, really, really special. From an aesthetical point of view, I think the new Korean wave is much appreciated. So it's difficult for me to say this brand instead of the other. I will try to uh, give you some names of brands like uh, uh, Kang Yuk, uh, uh, Other Error, uh, uh, Maxi J, uh, Mun. So, but there are many others that are very, very appreciated from all of us. 네, 말씀을 나누다 보니 명품 브랜드에서도 지속 가능성을 중요하게 생각함을 느낄 수 있었습니다. 다양한 생물의 공존을 위해서 이 모든 일들이 우리가 당연하게 느껴지는 날이 빨리 오기를 기대해 보도록 하겠습니다. 자, 지속 가능 패션 서밋 서울. 이제 두 번째 날의 순서를 모두 마무리하고자 합니다. 자, 오늘은 국내에서 활동하는 지속 가능 패션 브랜드의 이야기와 이탈리아 패션 브랜드의 지속 가능성의 책임에 대해서 얘기를 나누어 보았습니다. 앞으로 남은 지속 가능 패션 서밋 서울은 지속 가능 패션 뉴 노멀을 주제로 이틀 동안 이야기를 이어갈 예정인데요. 내일은 국내 패션 기업인 코롱, 블랙야크, 그리고 해외 패션 기업 파타고니아, 누디진의 실무진과 함께 패션 기업의 책임에 대해서 토론할 예정입니다. 지속가능 패션 서밋 서울 함께해 주신 모든 분들께 다시 한번 감사하다는 말씀 드리고요. 오늘 순서 여기서 인사드리도록 하겠습니다. 내일은 아침부터 여러분과 함께합니다. 내일은 오전 9시에 뵙도록 하겠습니다. 함께해 주신 여러분 고맙습니다.